Hey guys, just before the video starts, be sure to smack that like button, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. The first game we're going to be using GeForce now in is Fortnite, so I went into a 50s match right now. Let's see, it. It, it's the input lag is pretty bad, the f but you get I get more frame, frame rate than I do on my normal computer, or on my the computer I'm on right now. Wait, whoa, that was laggy, dude. It's not great for Fortnite. I'm just gonna say that. If you're playing Save the World, it's all right. But like, dude, I can't right now. It's too hard. There's too much delay and shit. Oh my god, it's so laggy, bro. Place wall is dumb game. Yeah, Fortnite is uh, ass. Okay, so you get like 300 frames, but. It only displays 60 and it's pretty delayed. Like, I can see the delay with the mouse. It's like pretty bad. But if your computer is trash, then you don't really have a choice. So it's all right, but I would not recommend using it. If you have the money, build your own computer. Don't use GeForce now. It's uh, pretty hard to use on this game, but yeah. I have it pretty much maxed out except for shadows. That's what I had it on. But I was getting like 150 or like 180-ish frames per second when in tilted. But yeah, that, it, it was all right. But uh, we're going to try out a different game. Next game. Uh, let's try, try a little bit of zombie killing. Bad blood. Do you have to like sign in? Let's Let's find out, boys. So yeah, uh, if you guys don't know already, GeForce Now is used, uh, was made for people who can't ha uh, handle to run games on their computer, so pretty much live streams it over to your computer and you get to control the mouse and the keyboard and everything. Uh, wait, why does it want me to sign in if I don't even own the game? Or like, how does that even work? I don't want to sign in to a, a, a NVIDIA computer. I don't trust it. How do I get out of this? I don't know how I get out of this. Do I just close it? Huh? Like why? Why is there a thing to pick the game if like freaking if if you don't like own it? Yeah, look, see, it says add to cart. Uh, that's weird. How are you supposed to do this? I don't think you can do it. I think Fortnite's the only one that works so far. All right, I'm going to do one more. I'll do CSGO. Let's see what happens. So I'll sign into my Dookie account. See what happens. Because, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working correctly. Why would they tell you you can play PUBG if you don't own it? Like, look. Are you supposed to buy the... Oh, this one works. Wait, what happens? <coughs> Holy shit. Downloaded the game instantly. Wait, does this add it to my Steam library? Yo, what if it does, dude? Imagine... Well, that one worked, which is interesting, so that's good. That's a good good sign. Oh, you can't play online. Oh, uh, that's a little the cheeks, but okay. My sensitivity is butt cheeks, but I don't feel like switching it. So, uh, CS is actually playable on, like, Fortnite. Fortnite's just, like, too... Like, you can't have a delay in that game or you're going to get effed up. I wouldn't recommend playing ranked matches on here, or competitive, but, I mean, well, I don't even think it lets you, but if you own the game on your account, and then you sign in and play it on, on the GeForce thing, see, I think that's like an exploit, I don't think you're supposed to be able to play whatever, well, maybe you are supposed to play whatever games you want, I'm not, I don't really understand it, but, I don't know, maybe you are supposed to play whatever game, like, if you have any games that they don't, like support on GeForce now, but you own them on your account. And you sign into it and play it. 
I think you're like able to play it on here. So yeah, it's all right, but I mean, scale of one to 10, I'll give it like a five. Like it's cool, but you can't play online in the games and uh, it's a little buggy. And I just don't like the delay, but yeah, that's pretty much it. The delay, you can't play online. And it glitches sometimes. Well, that's pretty much all that bothers me. Otherwise, it's pretty good. If you don't own games or a good computer, you can play. You can play games for free, pretty much. Like, like right now, at least. But I think after it, like, officially comes out, you're gonna have to pay, like, $10 a month to use it. Which is still kind of worth it, because then, like... You pretty much own all the games, but it's also super laggy. So I mean, it's kind of up to you. You have to good have good internet connection too. I think it's locked at 60, so it feels laggy, and just the delay is just bad. Like I can't aim straight, dude. Like what? What do you mean? And I'm not used to the sensitivity either, but whatever. Oh, what the hell? What do you? I guess you can do is 1080p. I think. Okay. <coughs> you can do 1080, 120 though. <coughs> That's kind of cool. So yeah, I should try. I'll try that out later. But I'm not sure if it has a bigger delay if you do more frames because it's like, yeah. But we'll see. Um. Once it gets officially released, we'll see if it's uh, better. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed though. Uh, be sure to check it out yourself if you're curious. It's not bad. It's not great either, but you know, yeah, it's in beta, so you can't expect too much. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.